Hey everyone, um, today I think I want to do a grocery haul. I'm going to Whole Foods for the first time. Um, well, not the first time, but I've never actually like grocery shopped there and like bought stuff, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to, you know, go there, see if I like it. I'm honestly real simple. I'm a Kroger, Tom Thumb kind of girl. So, um, I'm gonna try it out, see if I can get my little bougie groceries at uh, Whole Foods. Um, so yeah, let's go. Okay, so I just pulled up. I feel fancy just walking in here, I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> okay. Y'all. I'm not gonna lie, I'm uncomfortable. Not because anybody did anything or anything, but I've never been here, so I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like uh, I don't know the customs. It just looks too nice to me. So one thing, we definitely have wine and Stella Rosa. So I'm gonna get some of this. Which one? This is semi sweet. Hey everybody! So today was my first day going into Whole Foods. So I just wanted to give a little grocery haul. I really have well I'm trying to stay summertime fine since quarantine. Um I have been slipping on my workout routine, I'm not gonna lie. I've been slipping on my eating, I'm not gonna lie. Luckily, I ran track, so I kinda have some permanent abs from like doing a thousand abs a day back in college, but it's not holding up. So, you know, I feel like I've gained a little bit of good weight, if you know what I mean? But I'm trying to get back on track, and I also wanted to go into Whole Foods just to see, um, if I liked it, I usually am definitely a Kroger, Tom Thumb, giant, you know, regular store kind of girl, but I wanted to try it. So I'm gonna show you what I got. Now what I will say is this was low key expensive. Um, Cause I don't feel like I really got that much, but it wasn't overly bad though. So. I mean, it's typical what I get, what I spend on a whole bunch of junk. So maybe that's good. I did have to run to Kroger because two things that I needed, they did not have. So at Kroger, I went ahead and bought some ketchup. I really, really like ketchup with like everything. Eggs, breakfast, lunch, dinner, I really like ketchup. So they only had organic ketchup and then like some real whole foody type of ketchup. And I wasn't really willing to try that yet. Um, if anybody has had like organic ketchup or ketchup from like Whole Foods or anything, let me know if it tastes good. They did have the Heinz organic, but I just wasn't really, I want my ketchup to be ketchup, so I don't know. I will tell you though, when I went into the store, I felt like it was super fancy. Like I felt like, oh girl, we is balling in the home goods. I felt like I am gonna be, Drinking, uh, not lattes, but like drinking smoothies and just keto and whatever else y'all do. Um, I don't do that. Nothing against it. I just like really good food. So my healthy stuff is this. All, I didn't really buy anything new to me. I just bought it from Whole Foods. So I'm gonna see if it tastes any different. Um, I really want to try almond milk. I tried it one time before and it just wasn't it for me. It tastes like almonds and I don't like my milk to taste like that, but somebody told me to try vanilla. So let me know in the comments if vanilla almond milk is good. Cause I'm really, if it tastes like almonds, let me know. It, yes, it tastes like sweet almonds. But I just, I can't drink regular milk so I just stick to lactate. But I wanna try um, almond milk, okay. Oh, the other thing that I got from Kroger were these buffalo pretzel chips. 
the Spice Snack Factory. These are so freaking good. Um, they had these chips at Whole Foods, but they didn't have um, this flavor. So they didn't have the buffalo flavor. So I just said, let me just go to Kroger. I don't want to get the plain ones. So I'm gonna go to Kroger and get my buffalo. I knew exactly where they were. So yes. Okay. So in this bag, I did get some lunch meat. So I got some oven roasted turkey breasts, just so I can make some quick sandwiches. Um, honey maple, uncured ham. I really don't like ham, like sandwiches. I like like real like honey baked ham. But this one is maple. I really like maple and like sweet ham, so I'm gonna try it. I got some provolone cheese to go with it. And then along with that, I bought some spinach tortillas. So I'm gonna make like spinach wrapped with like turkey. I'm gonna try to do like a club, but in the um, turkey wrap. I mean, spinach wrap. And then I love me some maple bacon. I told y'all I love maple bacon. So I did buy maple bourbon all natural dry rubbed uncured baking y'all like this is hopefully it's good it was expensive as heck like eight dollars that's what i'm saying like eight dollars i mean it's probably five dollars in kroger so and this looks like it doesn't have much in it let's see i don't think it has like the piece count but I'm gonna eat it, so I'll let you know if, it, if it's worth it. Okay, this is some pomegranate balsamic superfood vinaigrette, so I'm gonna use this as my salad dressing. I really like the Panera Apple Fuji um, dressing. I'm gonna turn this light off, hold on. This is better to me, it's a little bit darker, but still. I really want, I like the Panera Apple Fuji chicken, I mean, Apple Fuji like dressing so uh, I didn't see anything similar to that so I want to try this pomegranate vinaigrette I bought some organic white sweet corn no salt added in a bag I like corn on the cob but I kind of didn't really feel like doing I kind of didn't really feel like doing too much with it so so I decided to go ahead and get the corn in a bag don't judge me I know Natural corn is baby. Mm. Um, I, fun fact, I love celery. So if we go out to eat and we get wings, I'm going to eat everybody's celery. I always ask like, do you like celery? Do you like celery? Do you like celery? And I'll eat everybody's celery. So I did get me some celery and I like to eat this with ranch. It's one of my favorite snacks. I know people eat it with peanut butter. I can't stand the taste of peanut butter. So, yeah, I'm just gonna do this with ranch, and this is gonna get me through my week. I munched down on some celery. Okay, so like I said, I am not vegan, I'm not vegetarian, I'm not pescatarian, I'm not, I don't have any dietary restrictions except for that I don't drink regular milk. But, I bought these meatless plant-based burgers. I get another brand that's at Kroger, but they don't have it, and I really don't even know what the brand is, honestly. But I really, really, really like the meatless burgers, so I said, I don't even know if it's healthier, but I said, okay, I'm gonna try these. I have tried the Beyond Burger. I just don't like the way that they cook because it's like really loose, so you have to like make sure that you're, you keep forming it, but they taste really good. So I'm gonna try this one. This one looks like it looks a little more patty-like, patty so. I'm gonna try this, I'll let you know if it's good. Um, let me know if you've tried this, is it good? Do you like meatless burgers or do you just prefer the regular meat? I eat both, but when I eat, when I make burgers at home lately, like the past like three times, I've been making like the plant-based burgers. So, and then I bought Me and the Beast Lemonade. I don't know, I think I saw this little girl on Facebook some years ago with her lemonade. I really don't even think that she is a, a a baby little girl anymore but I wanted to uh, support black owned little girls um, keep your dreams alive so I bought this one this is lemonade with mint and then I bought the other one which is lemonade with prickly pear so I'm gonna try both of these I really it was like three dollars each 
I really didn't care. I just wanted to support her. So I wanted to try this. Oh, and she's from Austin, Texas. Now, come on, another Texan. So I did buy this lemonade. I love lemonade. Um, so that's why I got this. And then lastly in this bag is vanilla yogurt. I can chop down some parfaits. So for breakfast, a lot of times, or like late night snacks, I always get hungry at night. I like to make a parfait. So I did buy this big uh, thing of vanilla. It's organic vanilla yogurt. I put this and then, so they do sell this at Whole Foods, so I will be going back to get this, but I got this one from Kroger. And the kind, so you have to get the vanilla yogurt, the vanilla blueberry granola by kind. Ooh! This is good. Like, mix these and then put some fresh strawberries. You can put blueberries, raspberries, whatever kind of berries you like, and you mix it up. I'm telling you, this is my go-to. And I don't even know if it's really like healthy or not, but to me, it is, it's so bomb. And I love a parfait. So, if you wanna try something. But you gotta get this one, the kind. It's like not too granola-y, but it is. I don't like like big chunks, so it's like, it's really good. Okay, in my next bag, I got some Old Bay seasoning. This is, I think I'm a Maryland girl, so they, I have only seen like the large things and I really don't need that much. So I have been looking for it and I didn't think that they really sold it that much here in Texas, but I saw some Old Bay. I didn't buy anything to make that I need Old Bay for, like any seafood this time, but I'm a Maryland girl. Old Bay is the way to my heart, so I had to make sure I had some. I don't know if this is cheating, but I did buy this um, Whole Foods chicken. It's barbecue chipotle bone-in chicken thighs. I love chicken thighs and chicken wings and chicken legs, but I don't like chicken breast. So I, had, I was looking all over for some chicken thighs, and then I found some. They are seasoned with chipotle barbecue. I'm probably gonna season them myself as well because I don't know how this is gonna taste. But I did get this, so I'll probably make this for dinner like tomorrow or so. I bought some lemons so that I could put that with my water. And then also with my water, I'm gonna put this mint. This smells so good. I might make like a mojito today. Um, I really don't drink that much, but I do like a nice mojito or something and this is giving me mojito vibes. This is a mint plant and I'm gonna make mint water as well. So I like to put like lemon and mint and water and um, let it marinate and then have some minty refreshing water. So that's gonna be good. And I know lemon water supposedly helps you like lose weight or something like that. So we're gonna see if it works. But I can, I'm not really gonna do anything about weight loss journey or anything because I really, I never step on the scale, so I don't know how much I weigh. I don't like to look at numbers. I just like to think about how I feel and how I look at my clothes. I bought some peaches and nectarines, so these are two nectarines and a peach. I like both, so I just bought some fruit. Haas avocados. I love avocados. I like to make avocado toast with bacon for breakfast. Sometimes I like to put avocados, mix it up with my eggs and some potatoes. So I did buy some avocados so that I can eat that. A nice sweet red onion just for seasoning and stuff. And I'll put it with my avocado or make it with my potatoes. Just, just like to have an onion. Um, this is some Colby Jack cheese cubes and some salami. So I'm gonna you actually eat this combined with my pretzels and just do like a nice, this will also be like a nice little snack, easy snack. So that's what this is for, just for him to be snacking on. And then in my last bag, it's only two things I think. These are some French baguettes. I got put onto these from Panera. I'm a Panera girl, I love Panera. So they always have French baguettes and I like to eat these with my salad. So I decided to get some French baguettes and then I got some spring 
salad mix. So it's half um, baby spinach and half spring mix. So I'm gonna be making some salads and I'll probably put like leftover chicken once I finish that in there. Um, I like to put strawberries, I like to put granola in there. Um, what else do I put in there? Oh, I'll put like some cheese cubes and then I'll eat that for lunch. So that is really what I got from Whole Foods today. I already have water. I already have I already have water, I already had some juice. So that's what I'm gonna be eating for this week. I'm really trying to be a little bit more intentional about the way that I'm eating and what I'm buying. So, cause I eat a lot of chips and I've been really just not doing well during this quarantine. So y'all, if you have any suggestions for me or anything that you think I should try, healthy and tasty is really what I'm going for, but not too health crazy. I'm not really trying to be on extreme. I still want to enjoy like the foods that I eat. So I'm not really interested in eating like not flavored yogurt or cottage cheese. I'm just not interested. So I'm sorry to you for that. But, and I still will eat meat for a minute. I mean, that's just the way that I want to do it. So um, thank you guys for watching. Definitely. Let me know if you guys shop at Whole Foods. What's your favorite grocery stores? Is it too fancy? Is it not fancy at all and I'm just basic? Like, what is it, sis? Because, I don't know. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you have any other videos that you wanna see. If you wanna see me cook anything or try to make something, I would love to do that for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs>